I'm just about to jump in the ice bath. Let's see the temperature. And I'll probably have to break apart some of the ice around the edges. So let me give you a bird's eye view. This is showing about one degree. So it's about one degree in here. And so here, let's... Uh, Break up these chunks. There we go. These are some big slabs in here. Here, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to grab a hammer. I'll be right back. All right, I got the hammer now. So to make it better, this is my, my filming stand. It's a golf. I don't need much. There we go. That should do. Everything's recording. Good. All right. So these are big blocks of ice. So. Pretty cold in here, I can feel it. Spatula to the rescue. Spatula wins. <laughs> Oh, that's a big block of ice. See? See how it entombs? Now let's just... Hands are getting cold. Are already getting slow, and I still got a whole bunch more. Finer the ice, the less chance um, I'm gonna get. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get cut or whatever. But the smaller the cubes, the more maneuverability I have in the water.
big chunk right here. chunk I think I'm gonna have to make this its own video just so I have enough room on my phone to make more okay now let's get this up Just to show you that it uh, that this is a real thermometer. It's uh, about 15 degrees right now. So let's put this in, the, in here to see how cold it actually is. I also set up my um, elliptical because I plan to now that my shoulder is getting better enough to push and pull. I'm going to be after my ice bath. I'm gonna do my little walk around to ground uh, on the grass and then I'm gonna immediately go do at least about half an hour to 45 minutes on the elliptical now as a new routine. Now that my, sh like again, my shoulder's feeling better, I can push myself now uh, that I'm not feeling excruciating pain or uncomfortability. So now's the time to step it up a notch. So, yeah, it's dropping good. Let's give this another minute to show how cold this really is. Just so I'm sitting around one degree, maybe just under one degree. Yeah, so. All right, I'll make this the end of this video and then I'll jump in right away. So let's keep this cool. I'm excited to jump in. I hope you are too. This is how I prep my freezer after plugging it in and unplugging it overnight. Uh, just so I'm able to have the good chunks of ice for the almost sub-zero temperature. I wish it was, but one degree, I'm not complaining. Zero degrees, that's that's good, but it would be one big block of ice, and we don't want that. So, Or I don't want that. So, All right, thanks for watching this prepping video for my ice chest. I will jump in momentarily. Bye-bye.